Brandon, I think you and I were both raised the same way in the game of football. You run to set up the pass, but I think we've discovered in this NFL, a lot of teams pass to set up the run. And that's what they've done throughout this game. They've aired it out, thrown it around the yard. Now they've come back to the running game, and they find a way to be successful with it. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Off the play fake, Everett. And that throw behind his man, he missed him, incomplete. Defensively, celebration time because they finally forced an incompletion. He was perfect throwing the ball to that point. Yeah, but from his viewpoint, they didn't force the incompletion. He just missed. That's how hot he is right now. And that's how he wants to continue to throw the ball. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. to throw again, Everett. Eluding the pressure right, and he'll slide to a halt here, still a little shy of the first down marker. The six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. from the gun, Everett. And that is incomplete. Yeah, that's a nice job there defensively to blank of those receivers on third down. And as a quarterback, all you can do is just lop one toward the bench, not too close, mind you, and live to punt the football. Here comes the Rams punter now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. The Cardinals offense now ready to get their first opportunity here in the second half. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out, and now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense them saying, okay, the first half was theirs, but now let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for this second half. First down, Anderson. And he's got room. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Let's get a bourbon. Let's get a bourbon. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at him and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all challenging that defense. And on that go around, the offense won the challenge. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. 53. Looking to throw. Warner over the middle complete. That's Gray. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. Second and two. A give to Anderson here, out of the gun. And some room to work. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets in the enemy territory. 46 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. Back to throw, Warner, and he gets it to Bolden, and he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Another 13 yards there twice in a row, and they're on the move, another first down as well. 
now what we're seeing, this is much better from this offense because so far in this game, no touchdown to this point. And what's usually a direct correlation? Very few explosive plays. That's been their issue. Not able to make that big shot downfield or break one off, but a nice game there for a first down. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. Come on, let's go! Following the penalty, Anderson. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Second down, here's an option right. And he'll get this one down to about the 27. He'll wind up getting three on the keeper there, but it leads to a third down. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. From the gun on third down, Warner. But it's caught on the right side, it's Smith. The completion there winds up a wash, and it'll bring up fourth down. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? Figured that one out in a big way. Yeah, they completed it all right and lost yardage. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. He hit his first one, this from 44 yards out now. And Prater's kick is on the money, it's good. And a second field goal here cuts their deficit to 14 to six now. So three points, maybe not a grand prize at this stage, but it does get them back within one score. It certainly does because now they stay within shouting distance. So that means everyone on your sideline stays engaged in this game. They know they still have a shot. Prater now will send it away following the main field goal. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Let's Good go. coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. They go play action here on first down. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. This has certainly been a physical game so far. Limited scoring opportunities for both sides, and there's another chance that goes unfulfilled. Well, thanks for joining us here on a Thursday night in the NFL. Third quarter, second and ten coming up. From the gun, Everett looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Anderson. And he'll get this up Here to the 30-yard line. Here we go. We just saw an example of what we talk about all the time when we meet with coaches. They want that hidden yardage to come to the front when they throw the football. 
throw it, catch it, and then pick up more yardage after the catch. So first and 10 now from the 30. Off play action, Everett. Now he's flushed out left. Well, this is taken in, it's complete. And able to rip off a Let's big go, chunk boy, of yardage up. before being dropped inside the 40. A big play that time through the air. 32 yards. We see this happen so often. If you're a defender, it's like watching a bad movie over and over. The pressure is good, forcing the quarterback out of the pocket. But it's a lot to ask for these defenders to stay plastered to receivers long enough. And sure enough, they let a man come open, and the connection leads to a big play. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. But defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. Six yards left on second down. Operating from the gun, Everett. That'll be taken in by Anderson. Anderson loses the football, and the Cardinals have got it, going the other way. And shutting him off, now open field. And it's a big turnover there on the final play of the quarter. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. It's Cardinal football, but they trail here as we get set to bring you the fourth and final quarter. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Here's Anderson, and he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there, second down. This run defense has been pretty stout all game long. Now you're here in the fourth quarter. Let's rely more on the passing attack. I don't think you have any choice, and I don't think you have to dress it up at all either. Throughout the first three quarters, you're still trying to convince the defense that you may run the football. That's out the window right now. Protect, let your quarterback operate, and try and find some targets in the open field downfield. And here he'll get it down to the seven. 50 yards on the ground for him so far. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. The Cardinals on third down, just one for five to this point. This is third and four. Looking to throw, Warner. And this is caught, touchdown! Yeah, hold a second here, flag down. Let's see if this will stand. game that hurts take the touchdown off the board no doubt about it and this is where you made a great movie scene right go in rally the team okay we lost points there let's get it back and go out and score again can he get it done so following the holding call what can they do here on third and long back to throw Warner over the middle to Smith and they're going to drop him well shy of the first as he can only make it to the 11. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. Well, the coverage was tight that time. They allowed the pass underneath to him, but they rallied to him pretty fast, too. Converged on him and got him down. That'll bring up fourth down. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. 
Prater's kick is good. And that'll get the lead down to five. It's an interesting call there to take the three. I mean, I guess they're thinking that their hands were tied, but, you know, fourth quarter, that field goal might not help them that much in the air. Yeah, eventually they're going to need the touchdown. The thinking must have been they didn't feel confident about picking it up there, hoping maybe on defense they can get better field position, get a turnover, get a better play, and then they'll have a chance to attack the end zone. Prater now will send it away following the main field goal. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though, when they only gave up the field goal? And they were able to trot back out on the field to start this drive. A little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown. But they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession. The coach will just be relieved, though, if they recoup with a score here, right? I think coach would be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it downfield, punching the end zone without turning it over. Throwing on first down. Everett. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. You and I watched film yesterday, and you told me to watch his feet. Well, for whatever reason, his footwork just looked off on that throw. And you always love it when an ex defensive back talks quarterback mechanics, right? Well, but you're good at it. Well, I, I try, all right? I don't know how good I am, but it doesn't take much to tell. His mechanics are off a little bit, exactly what you described. Footwork, that led to the incompletion. The throw over the middle, taken in. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. From the gun on third down, Everett. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. He's picked off at his own 46. A critical error there in a tight game of the fourth. All you talk about is taking care of the football, and especially with a lead here in the fourth quarter. Turning it over, now the door is open for the opposition. Just in general, when you're passing in the fourth quarter with a lead, no matter what point, you got to be super careful. Got to be careful, and sometimes you can be so careful that you end up running yourself into an error. And the Cardinals getting set to trot out there now. The interception sets them up with an opportunity to erase this fourth quarter deficit. And this series could very well determine our outcome. On first and ten, Warner. He's got Smith here. Not much there, only a yard. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Warner. Complete right back in the hands of Smith. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver. And the Rams got it. They bring him down. And the defense coming through on third down, a loss of seven to bring up fourth. He was still looking through his progressions and going through his receiver options, and while he was doing that, the defense got to him quickly in the pocket. And it was a great example of zone coverage, well executed, well coordinated. All the receivers were covered, and he couldn't evade the rush back in the pocket. 
So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. Attempting now to break his own NFL record. This from 65 yards away. So Lightning has struck twice. Matt Prater extends his NFL record with another absolute bomb of a field goal. And to think he's been an underrated kicker during his career. But this is how you cement a legacy. My goodness, to do it again? That's pretty darn unbelievable. for its next possession. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. They'll run on first down. Dickerson. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Well, I've heard you say that so much of being a great inside linebacker is diagnosis. And that time, he diagnosed things instantly, made a beeline for the football. And as a running back, you've got to be saying, where did he come from? He covered a lot of ground in a short amount of time. And he was able to stop his man before he got back to the line of scrimmage. And the next-gen stats tell the story as he was traveling at better than 19 miles an hour. Looking to throw on second down. Everett. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. This a very important drive, and that incompletion leads to a very important third down here if they're going to try and get the football back. Yeah, getting it back, absolutely crucial to their chances to try and win this game. I would expect a lot of pressure here. They can't afford to let them continue to get first downs and eat away at the clock. And that will be incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Here comes the Rams punter now, as he's on here to punt it away. Inside of two minutes remaining in a two-point ball game. They've got the football here as we get you reset. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And his throw is going to be incomplete. So he's unable to complete it there and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark really start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here? Or is it just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. Back to throw. To the right side and complete to Metcalf. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Was that a receiver? <laughs> yeah, actually it was. It was a running back who was a receiver on the play. Ike's been spending time in the receiver drills getting his feet down. Well, those guys out of the backfield, they got to be good, agile with their feet. He showed the agility there with a toe tap. No doubt about it. It's like he'd run to ballet school. Got the toes down and stayed in bounds. They'll look to throw. This is Anderson. Oh, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. 
Oh, now Olsen slow to get up here. Still on the ground. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. One score down, here we go. They're gonna go for it here on fourth down. They'll run for it, Anderson. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Add that one to the good run talent right there. He's been strong throughout this game. There's no reason to suggest he's gonna slow down in the fourth quarter at all. And that's exactly what they need him to do. Keep churning out first downs. One crisis averted, but they still need to move hastily. Back to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that is incomplete. They probably spent a little extra time dissecting the game film after this when I think the part of their plan was to hit them over the top of the deep ball. They've been unsuccessful all night. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. He'll look to throw. This one into the hands of Metcalf. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as it comes with a minute four left to go in the game. The Rams go nickel here defensively on third. He's back to throw. He gets it into the hands of Larry Fitzgerald. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second, as it comes with exactly a minute to go in the football game. Cliff Kingsbury, part of that new breed of head coaches, and his guys are going to go for it. Running for it. Here's Anderson. And he's got enough for the first across midfield to the 48. Cardinals got to go quickly. Hustling to the line. Now a first down throw. Warner. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. A couple extra defensive backs out there in the dime, and because of that, really not many places to throw the football, if any. And typically, what would you want to do against that dime? Run the football. You want to run the ball, but you can't do it in this situation. Not nearly enough time on the clock. You have to really navigate against a tough defense presented against you. Here's Warner. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. He couldn't get away. He'll wind up losing a dozen yards, a 12-yard loss, and it brings up third. The Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's going to let it fly. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. So after all of this, it comes down to one final play. And just think of what it's going to be, because from this distance, you've got to be prepared for everything. Hook and laterals, tip balls, you name it. A lot of laterals after a catch. Just got to be prepared, stay on your feet defensively, and tackle someone. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this 
This is incomplete. So no miracles here on the final play. And this ball game is over. So the L.A. Rams with a victory here. And it was a bit of a strange game. They were 